Letters are actually spells, part 32. If your name starts with the letter L, watch this to the end. The letter L is derived from the Greek letter Lambda, which comes from Phoenician Lamed, which comes from the Hebrew Lamed. Lamed is the 12th letter in the Hebrew alphabet, but in the Hebrew alphabet, there is no number 12. This is a diagram showing the Hebrew number system. As you can see, after 10, the numbers double, going from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40. And as you can see, each letter represents a number because in Hebrew, the numbers are interchangeable with letters. This is not a new practice. The Romans have been doing this too. You just never noticed it. Numbers and letters have always been interchangeable. But what's important to note is that regardless of the zero being added, these numbers still represent the same values. For example, after 10, it should be 11, but it's 20. But in numerology, you must add the numbers together till they reduce to the last number. So 11 would be one plus one equals two, and two plus zero is two. The number 30 is supposed to be 12, but one plus two is three, and three plus zero is three. This goes to show you how well thought out these languages are because the letter L in the English alphabet is the 12th letter and one plus two is three. Letter L's are highly creative because they are the 12th letter and the number three is the creative vibration. The number three also represents the Trinity. That's why words like Lord start with L. It's no coincidence that upside down the letter L is a seven. And in religion, the Lord is often associated with the number seven. Not saying that this information is connected to religion, but a lot of religions connect this information to their doctrine, but it's hidden subliminally. The number seven is a very intuitive number vibration. This gives L strong psychic and empath awareness. Sevens are very analytical thinkers. If you would like a part two for L, be sure to click that plus sign.